What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Josh. This is Overlanding Now. And today, we're in a little spot that you may have heard of before. You may have not heard of before. But it's a destination that's less traveled. Hey. Right in the center of, well not in the center, but in South Dakota. We made the trip all the way from Ohio. We're in South Dakota. We're stopping over and going to Yellowstone, but we wanted to take in some of this beauty because we've heard a lot of really good things. So, glad that you guys decided to come along. I hope that you stick around for the full adventure because there will be several videos after this of our travels. But uh, welcome to the Badlands. Ton to do. No. There's not a ton to see, but it is extremely pretty the things that you come across. The sunflower fields that go for hundreds of miles. We have something like that in Ohio where it's just a small patch, everybody goes in the fall to take pictures, but this is like breathtakingly large. And whatever created Badlands at whatever point in the evolution of the earth had to be pretty incredible because it's absolutely breathtaking when you just look how big Badlands is. Now the National Park itself is small but this one section of incredible rock formation seems to go on forever so it, it oh, just let's see if you can see it. Sunflower seed. Sunflower seed. Sunflowers. Just sunflowers. But the seeds, you know, sunflower seeds. And they go on forever. So we're going to check out this place called Wall Drug. We've seen 300? Oh, for sure. 300 billboards for this place. I mean, I feel like at this point, if I did like not. It reminds me of like Roswell. Yeah, it's like Roswell, New Mexico, like how they have all the alien signs. This is what that's like. So we're going to go check out Wall Drug because I need to know. At this point, I have to know. The Badlands National Park was once a portion of a giant saltwater sea. Upheaval and volcanic activity pushed the seafloor up. As the water drained away, it left behind broad, marshy plains. The Badlands deposits originally covered hundreds of miles surrounding the Black Hills. Rivers flowing eastward from the hills cut into the deposits, and with the help of wind, rain, and snow, thousands of tons of sedimentary deposits were carried away. 
The area continues to erode away today as each season takes its toll. The badlands of South Dakota were set aside to preserve approximately one-tenth of the White River badlands. The area was established as a national monument by presidential proclamation on January 25, 1939. In 1978, the Badlands National Monument was designated a national park. The purpose of the park is to preserve the scenery, wildlife, indigenous plants, and areas of scientific, scientific significance. The Badlands National Park covers 244,300 acres of the White River Badlands. The steeply eroded land supports very little plant life. No deep-rooted shrubs or trees could take hold to preserve the land from the battering elements. The water and wind chafed away the layers of deposits until the hardest sandstone stood. So I'm not sure if I can impress upon you enough the beauty and the weirdness that the Badlands has to offer. But if this is a place that you've never been, if this is a place that's maybe on your bucket list, um, it would be hard to spend a week. I guess you could do a lot of camping out here, but there's not a ton to see because the Badlands National Park is actually relatively small in comparison to national parks that you may be used to. And there's not a lot of forest roads. There's not a lot of ways to get through it. So you kind of have to stick to pavement. There's some dirt and you just have to be creative in you know, trying to find camp. But the rock and the sky, now there is a bit of haze from the wildfires in Canada that's been blowing down into this area so it's pretty difficult to see but the beauty out here the the dry heat is something that I think my wife and I both absolutely love so we are going to end tonight by going on a hike to the Notch Trail. It's about an hour and a half hike up so we can enjoy the sunset. Since we only get one night here, this is what we decided to do on our right before we leave tomorrow and head out to Yellowstone. So we appreciate you guys for watching. Um, I'm going to leave you with hopefully a little bit of footage. If not, I'll see you on the next one. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Later. We did it! We made it!